Craig from Wattmaster. We're going to crimp a um, copper lug onto a uh, piece of building wire today. The lug we're using is the 25mm uh, Elko lug. The uh, Elko copper lugs available at quality wholesaler near you. And uh, we're going to be using the Klauka Mini Crimp Hydraulic. Uh, this can do from uh, 25 mil to 185 square mil, which is your biggest size, uh, most, where most your volume for crimping is. It's a lovely little tool, and um, as it's fully hydraulic and automatic, it reduces your fatigue a lot. So first thing we're going to do is uh, select the right crimper. So on the lug you can see we have 25, meaning it's a 25 mil lug dash eight with an eight mil stud size. That's the hole to bolt it onto whatever you're gonna bolt it onto. Picking the small 25 mil square die, it slips into our crimper quite easily. Just, there's some little spring-loaded catches here, just pull them back, poke your die in, and that's how quick it is. And uh, have a battery charger here, which you're used to with your um, battery tools. Just, uh, I've uh, pre-stripped this cable and just put that on there to protect it before. And I'm going to be using afterwards some Elko heat shrink. I'm using clear heat shrink just so I can um, inspect the joint after, after crimping. But uh, the heat shrink's available from Wattmaster in the major phase colours, red, white, blue. And we also have yellow, green for earth and black for neutral. And we have clear. So placing the uh, lug onto the conductor, taking the mini crimp tool and pull the trigger. Then we have half the lug crimped. Move it along again. And then we have the lug 100% crimped. Very nice with a little bit of overflow on that one. But um, nothing, too, nothing that we can't just trim a little bit there. And there we have a very nice fit of the lug. That's um, 25 mil stamped on there. So you know it's 25 mil cable. 25 mil lug and we've used the 25 mil die. Now we take the heat shrink, just slide it on. And I'm using clear here just so I can inspect later. I could, as I said before, easily use black, which I have, and uh, blue, red, yellow, green or white. And uh, this is the Wattmaster Elko heat shrink kit. Taking our um, Wattmaster heat shrink gun and just Getting, hitting that with a bit of heat, and we have the heat shrink shrinking nicely. There we have a nice joint with the heat shrink there. So what we can do is then take black, put the black there, straight from our kit as our now that black heat shrink we use there shrinks from 13 mil to 6.5. So that's a, a very nice tight fit there. You can see I can still inspect the joint, fully insulated right up to the face. That's an example of the Wattmaster Mini Crimper, Wattmaster Heat Gun, and the Wattmaster Heat Shrink Kit.